off again. I need to turn the sleep thing down. Like, make it to where it sleeps every, like, 30 minutes or something. Because this, this ain't working. This ain't working, Chief. So... Let it sit a bit. I'm gonna go over here and grab this. I'm still trying to figure out a good time zone. Ooh, opium. A good time zone to do uh, these. Also, I have a freaking uh, remove. Thank you. A marker on the map. I have a lot of experience points. Don't think there's... Okay, uh... I don't think there's much else I can do, especially here. Reach the pharmacy, midnight, yeah, I got a good email. Let's try this one. It doesn't really tell you the level. Yeah, so we'll just have to figure it out, I guess. Uh, here we go. Get that started up. Play. There we go, okay. Alright, so... Before I talk to that lady... I'm gonna go over here. Also, I found out this game was made by Don't Not Entertainment, who did games like, uh... Life is Strange, and such like that. Influenza frequently compl complicated with pneumonia to prevent any case of Spanish flu stay at home. Uh, nobody saw that! <laughs> Just a little poof. Oh, no one saw that! It's it's involuntary! <laughs> hey, Tria! Welcome back! Yeah, li Life is Strange is weird. It's... Not my favorite. I mean, I watched, like, Jacksepticeye play it, and that was it. I mean, it, it it's very different. Very different indeed. I'm not usually for narrative games like that, but this game I'm just like, mmm. Can I come over this way? I need to go over there, please. I need to go down. I need to go down. Yeah, they did throw the ending out the ending out the window. And like they made it a split ending too. Like if, if like they had a good ending and a bad ending. And like, okay, seriously, why is it they have a good ending and they have a bad end ending. And then like for the next game, which was one the one with the brothers, who's the title slips my mind at the moment. Um, the one with the brothers, it's like Ooh. And then like for the brothers, it's like it was the bad ending that was a true ending or something like that. So why even make a split ending? Like it doesn't make that doesn't make sense. Alright, I need to get out of there. Alright, let me see if I can figure out a way to get over there. Okay, I need to go around the other way. <laughs> Nobody saw a thing! Great! So I need to find a cause of death for this one guy that I found. I'll talk to the rich lady over here in a little bit. I want to see if I could do this first. You know, I'm inevitably going to die, but it's okay. I'm only level 6. It's not that bad. Ish. Alright, so... Down this street... Yes. Alright. Straight down this street. Ooh, trash. Lovely. Alright, I'm gonna come up on a door here. It must be this one. I can just go through, yeah. I should probably start walking or not run as fast. Wasn't I just here? I was. Hold up. It's 
back there, but how do I get back there? That's the problem. I can't go anywhere. Open the door! Ugh. Can I just vampire vault over this wall? Please? No one ever listens to me. Fine, I'll go talk to this other person. I'll find a way back there some other way. It's a dead end. Ah, this place is a maze. Oh, okay. I'm gonna dig through the trash because that's a sanitary thing for a doctor to do. Oh, I thought that was gonna be something, but it's not. It's a lie. What'd you do? Move inside the hospital? Yeah, you moved inside the hospital. I think. Oh, holy cow, lady. Okay, now you're still out here. Alright. Sad violins. Alright, come on. Almost there. There she is. The flu took my dear wife, Emily. I take comfort knowing we'll soon be together again. Mr. Rainfield, that's no way to talk. You're in good hands here, and we'll be up again soon enough. <laughs> Is she the vampire? Kindness and get some sleep. <laughs> Is she the vampire from before? Your words are kind. The blessings of an angel. You're the sweet, sweet lady of mercy. Yeah, she is. Good evening, Dr. Reed. It's a pleasure to see you again. You seem surprised. Dr. Swansea has brought me up to speed concerning your recent appointment to Pembroke Hospital. Uh... Done. The lady who saved me that night before vanishing into thin air. I remember you from the pub with Dr. Swansea. Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself formally this time. My name is Lady Ashbury. I remember you well. In spite of the brevity of our encounter. Well, you're a lot nicer looking than some of the other vampires. <laughs> Swansea fan fancies vampires. Uh, I'll say I'm glad to see you. Apologies. I want to be that one vampire who seems like very charming and nice, but is a villain deep down. So that's what I'm gonna do. I hope you're yeah, she does seem very nice. My now. You must have countless questions, but a rather urgent matter first. Swansea has explained. My cover, if you prefer, has been compromised. Well, he'll either be a villain deep down, or he'll just have that urge. Um, I have questions about vampires. But I have questions concerning this condition we share. As a newborn, your hunger for answers is rivaled only by your thirst for blood. But the questions need weight. Aw, okay. I'm a scientist. My trade is in the deciphering of mysteries, and I need information to feed my mind. Yeah! <laughs> Swansea's taking all the pics from Lamy Dimitrescu from Resident Evil 8. Yes, he is. <laughs> and then in his desk, he has all the volumes of Twilight. <laughs> Patients giving you trouble? My god, and then, like, Lady Ashbury's picture is in another desk. He keeps these all under lock and key. <laughs> I swear, I swear that would be him. <laughs> I need art of that now. Uh, I believe you. My god, just <laughs> Necessary evil, huh? I'm here to help you. Dr. Swansea has commissioned me to be your agent in this matter. You could start by explaining what's in this. Yes, he does. He does. Swansea is that guy who's like, no, I wouldn't want to be a vampire, but I like to study him, but secretly he wants to be a vampire. <laughs> okay, what do you want of me? What are your expectations? Please be precise. 
As the newly appointed surgeon of this hospital, you are in an excellent position to ask innocent questions and deftly learn the identity of my blackmailer. Who would be so foolish as to threaten you, a kindred spirit? Even if it were the case, and I highly doubt it, a vampire would have asked for something more valuable than money. My suspicions lean toward a patient or their family. Okay, so she's getting blackmailed by someone who's most likely human and might be a patient at this hospital. As immortal tradition doth dictate, all fangs and hypnotic eyes ablaze. The blood would run like a river. That's what okay. To avoid. And being a vampire, he's like, hey, why not deal with it yourself? You're a vampire, they're human. And she's basically saying, I wouldn't want to do that. I'm too powerful. Okay. Please continue. Every detail is essential. I'm your man. My embarrassment in this matter. I like how we're saying this in front of a sick patient. put the hospital at risk. The threat from our anonymous scoundrel is clear. A list of dates. Okay. My visits coinciding with the dates of suspicious patient deaths due to massive blood loss. Oh my god. So she's arriving on the days some patients die from massive love blood loss under suspicious conditions. That is sus. <sighs> is it true? Is it true? Now aren't you the blunt one? I just want to know, lady. <sighs> Excuse my impertinence, your ladyship. This is not an interrogation. I assure you that this line of questioning is in your best interest. Yeah. In all honesty, I'm not simply a patron to the hospital. My visits serve a dual purpose. Dr. Swansea has been treating my condition with a revolutionary technique of blood transfusion. It seems you are a specialist in the domain. I'll take care of it. Do you know where I should start? If that was the case, I'd settle the matter myself. You could talk to our local gossip, mm. Harriet Jones. Not a pin drops here without her hearing about it. I'll meet that woman now. Harriet Jones. Okay. My life, as others know, is in your hands, Dr. Reed. I'm sure of your discretion, but I do fear your powers of persuasion will be put to the test. When this is resolved, I'll be your obligé. I'll answer all questions in regards of your condition. Guess what, lady? You suspicious as hell. Alright, so now we gotta go find Harriet Jones. Why do I have another pin up? Where do I... Why do I have all these custom markers everywhere? It's probably because I panicked. It's just threw them all over the place. It says I have a custom marker. Where? I don't know. Oh, okay, no, it's not a pin. Right, she's on the inside over here. Excuse me. <laughs> Say excuse me and just shove her out of the way. Oh. Okay. What? What? What is this? Who are you? Get out of my room. There's no need Damn. for alarm, madam. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon. Preposterous. Dr. Reed, you say? I don't want some bumbling intern. Where's Dr. Swansea? Uh, please calm down. Please, calm down, madam. I assure you that I am highly qualified. I'm just back from war duty. <laughs> how brave. Threatening an old defenseless woman. You know how long I've been a patient here. You picked the wrong fight. I and didn't Harriet threaten you? Harriet Jones. Indeed. I've been meaning to have a chat with you. you I didn't on here better threaten than any you. Patient, I but okay. Karen. Better than any patient, nurse or doctor. I've seen so many vile undertakings. I heard there have been some despicable goings on. Was there a case of blackmail? Blackmail? I... Wait. You're investigating something. The 
This isn't a social call. One of those incompetent cunts is the poor sod's bane. Whoa, what? If okay. I didn't know better, Miss Jones, I'd be inclined to say you enjoy She's kind of bitter. Idle gossip. God's honest truth, Doctor. It's just the way it is here. Most of the Bitches would let you freeze to death before getting you a blanket. Damn. You seem to know more about the goings on here than anyone else. Beware, Miss Jones, in case suspicion should fall on you. That's it. Blame the old and infirm. I see those little bitches' greedy little eyes. Just waiting for me to pop off, they are. My God. I assure you, madam. This is not an investigation into a possible medical error. Debauchery, then? Nurses Crane, Hawkins, Brannigan's, whores, all of them. Lady! Their legs shut. I see them scratching slutty sores. Really? Well, if you have... <laughs> He's like, TMI, let me speak. <laughs> this is your business, Doctor, not mine. So she's very, uh, old-fashioned. Hours. Thank you for your time, Miss Jones. You've given me something to go on. See you on the next round. Okay. Who was that say? Royal Garden Hall Theater. Clyde Fitch presents Doris Fletcher, Sappho. That's nice. I'm gonna steal your stuff, lady. Your bag of junk. The patients and staff might know something. I'll start my investigation with that. All right. So first, I need to, ooh, I need to talk to Nurse Brannigan, uh, Hawkins, and Crane. So Brannigan, I know, hangs out here. There she is. So I'll do with her first. All right. See you, Tria. Thank you for joining. I'll see you later. Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doctor. Uh, hospital staff with criminal background. Do you know if any of the hospital staff have criminal backgrounds? The people who work here all come from very different backgrounds, Doctor. Just like the patients. Okay. Uh, hit and required, hit and required. Your life in London. Alright, did that. Have you seen a strange man visiting any of the nurses here? I've never heard of such a thing, Doctor. Okay. Bye-bye. Call me if you need I like Bran again. She's pretty cool. Alright, so... Crane and... Pippa are somewhere in here. Or Hawkins or somewhere. Hawkins is normally hanging out around here. Let me see if I can find her. Uh, Crane, are you in here? That's not Crane, is it? No, that's Ackroyd. Okay. Okay. She's not gonna be out there. Where did Pippa go? Oh, Mortimer and his mom are in here. Sorry, guys. I didn't mean to bust in. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here's... Here's Pippa. I like calling her Pippa. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Uh, strange personal questions. Back. Stranger what visiting can you nurses. Tell me about the strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift. Let me guess. You spoke with that old shrew, Harriet Jones. Do not pay attention to her, Doctor. She's full of fanciful tales. She deserves our help, lady. No matter how you feel about her, Miss Jones deserves our help. Who says I don't care for her? Hate is what keeps that old crone alive. Dang. She could have said the truth. She could have been telling the truth about the mysterious man. That old witch will end up in hell soon enough. Who cares if a nurse finds some happiness where she can? Well, you were not helpful. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. At all. Okay. And then, Crane is normally upstairs. Doing what? I don't know. But she sometimes is, is up here. As far as I know, at least. Also, I need to like, rummage through everything in here anyway. Hey, can I 
I go up here? Alright, no. <laughs> Nothing there. Oh, hey. Is she up here? I don't think so. Alright, let me try and find her. Let me figure out where this girl is. You'll know it's her because she'll be covered in blood stains. Okay. Wait, I know I can how to do this. There's Pippa Thomas. Yeah, Pippa Thomas. Velma. Our cash is over there. Hmm. Hey, what's going on over here? I cannot enter. Hang on. Let me head on outside. here how can I be sure I'll not find your unconscious body in the house again I promise you you'll not find my unconscious body for God's sake how can you say such a thing how can you refuse to listen I tried to warn you for so long no I won't let my only son die you promised me you'd stay alive your son lied to you like the whole world lies to us. Okay. Got a new interaction there. Let's go talk to Mortimer. While I wait for Miss Crane to show up. Take that, thank you. Hey, Mortimer! Good evening, Mr. Goswick. How are you? Oh, hey, Deep Blue! Welcome to the stream! Uh, Have you heard rumors of Black Black Hospital? No. Okay. I just unlocked a hint through Mortimer by eavesdropping, so he tried to kill himself. Admit it, Mortimer. Your mother had you hospitalized here because you tried to kill yourself. Yes, it's true. All right, then. This is the first time we've really shared information about your case. So he tried to kill himself. Shall we call this progress? Call it what you want, Dr. Reed. You can trust me. You can trust me. I won't report you to the authorities. My one and only concern is your health. I guess I should thank you then. Can I help you? Can I help you in any way, Mr. Goswick? I wrote a letter for my mother. She was supposed to read it after after my death. But I suppose she doesn't have to read it now. I see. And is this letter still near the place where you tried to take your own life? Yes. And I don't want anyone reading my last words. I mean, I'm still here. If you bring me back that letter, then perhaps we'll talk. Okay. Um, I'm that's what I'm assuming. I don't know. We're going to talk to the mom now. I have to go now, sir. All right, let me talk. Let me talk to the mom. Good evening, doctor. How is my son doing? Uh, rumors of blackmail. Have you heard rumors of blackmail going on in this hospital? Doctor Reed, are you trying to take advantage? No, lady. Of course not, Mrs. Goswick. I'm just curious. Well, go be curious somewhere else, please. Jeez, lady. Your son wished to die. Your son wished to die, Beatrice. Why did you hide such crucial information? Are you not aware suicide is a crime? Mortimer could be thrown in jail. That I did not know. I can't let that happen. I won't. I understand you fear the legal consequences, Mrs. Goswick. 
But don't you realize your silence significantly affects your son's case? Uh -huh. All my son needs is help and comprehension, not judgment and punishment for what he may or may not have done. All right, no other hint there. Goodbye, Mrs. Gosling. Uh, let me talk to Mortimer again. Good evening, America. All right, nothing there. Okay. I have to. Okay, so there's that. Um, which is fine. He is sick. Let me track this. How do I treat? Oh, I remember how to treat. Okay, hold up. I'm all right. Well, um. Good evening, Mr. American. I'm not sure what the history behind that is. Me. I will have to look at that later. Burden, sir. Healing you is my responsibility. And you have my gratitude for that. There you go. All right, now he doesn't have fatigue anymore. I have to go now. Okay, good. Alright, so let's go. Because I can't find bloody Nurse Crane. Like, literally bloody because she's covered in blood all the time. I can't find her. I don't know where she is. I mean, I can run around this hospital with my side up again to find her. There's Hawkins. Velma. Harriet. Sean. Thomas. Anyone above me? Swansea. I literally don't know where Crane is whenever I need her. Okay, let's just go try to fix this thing up. Yeah, it still is a weird punishment. That wasn't her. No, that's Hawkins. Okay. Mortimer. Lady Ashbury. Oh, there's someone I need to talk to over there. Oh, who's on? who's laying down on the bed there? Okay. I'll look at him later. Wait, there's two women. There's Branigan and Pippa. Hey, do you know where Crane is? Do any of you know where Crane is? Alright. Well, I'm gonna talk to... No, I'll just keep going. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, this is... I don't know if this is based in the 30s. Maybe? I'm not too sure. I don't know when this is exactly based. Alright, it's here. It's right in the hospital. Oh. Burn after reading. Alright, so he's just down the street. Alright, so we might be in here. Ah, yes, it was here. This is my new hideout. Very nice, very nice. And this is what I'm looking for. My dear mother, when you find this letter, I'll be gone. I want you to know that I don't leave because of you. I leave this world because of the crushing weight that existence puts upon me. These times are too much for me. Sometimes I feel like Baudelaire's verses have been written as an echo from my own heart. When the low, heavy sky weighs like a lid upon the spirit aching for the light, and all the wide horizon's line is hid by a black day sadder than any night. It's as beautiful as it is painful, mother. I can't suffer it anymore. I don't want you to try to convince me. It would only delay the inevitable. For I would do it again if by any chance you managed to save me once. Farewell, your son, Mortimer. In this letter, Mortimer Goswick does nothing to hide his desire to die. I could give it to his mother, but doing so would betray his trust. Choose what to do with Mortimer Goswick's weather letter. Bring the letter back to Mortimer Goswick or give the letter to his mother. Yeah. Yeah, th I think they do talk about World War I, so this may be in the 20s-ish? Maybe a little after the 20s? Oh my god, my eyes. What a wrong- what's wrong with my eyes? Oh my god! I think my eyes look like this when I need to evolve. God, that's so creepy. Um... Okay, so... I don't know wh where to give it to him. Yeah... I, 
could give it to his mom. His mom doesn't want him to die. She doesn't want him to die, and I don't blame her. It's a mother's love. It's not his mom pressuring him into anything. He's just upset at the whole world. He just can't handle the world. And I don't know. That. Ooh, a safe. Forget about Mortimer. I found a safe. It's locked. It's locked, all right. It's locked. <sighs> it's locked, all right. They give me a key. I am a vamp. I should be able to open it without a problem. All right, let me just sleep and evolve. We'll go from there. Yeah, I can do- I can give him the letter without telling his mom. But that would, could also ensure he would try to kill himself again. So I'll just have to see. Alright, what we got here? Blood capacity, yes. Let's do that. Okay. Big thirst. Yes! Big absorption. Let's go get some more blood every time I bite someone. Level 8. Getting there. Uh... Fast regeneration, yes. Gosh, I have so much. Science, I could carry three serums on me. Or serums. It's a really tough decision. I don't know what to do. Okay, so that's done. Shadow Veil. I don't really want to use that yet. Let's do some more health. And now I'm level 9. Anything else? Nope. Uh, no. There we go. Yeah, the glass not you making it. Thanks! <laughs> Alright, but I did give him medicine, so I'm happy with that. I have two more people I still need to find. I need to go find Miss Crane still. Alright. This is his flat. Hey, another note. Fertile is the belly of the beast. Vampires create their foul progeny with blood. We all know that. Some of us witness the process, even. But what is really going on there? Is that the only way for a vampire to breed? Let's review what we know so far. When willing to create a progeny, a vampire will not bite, but give its blood to drink. Most of the victims die when bitten, but some of them survive and turn to leeches themselves. This only happens when they have assimilated the vampire blood one way or another. It is not the predator's bite, but its blood, that infects the victim who will turn if he or she survives the suffering of the metamorphosis. It also seems that a vampire can breed by having intercourse. The vampire mates produce a child. Sexual intercourse between a vampire and human rarely produce any birth, but some of them try it anyway. Vampire gestation is only a few weeks short, and the pain is almost unbearable for the mother. If she is mortal, she will not survive the birth. The vampire comes out of her womb by tearing apart her entrails. If the mother is a blood drinker, it will probably survive and regenerate. The newborn vampire will quickly grow and turn to adult vampire in only a few months. From the Adversary by Kendall Stone, founder of the Guard of Prairwin. Alright, so the founder of the vampires. Yeah! Okay! See, that's why I like looking at places like these. You can find little nuggets like that. Ooh, money! Uh, I don't care that this is Mortimer's flat. I'm taking everything. <laughs> so awful, okay. Unfortunately, I can't, like, save. I can't save before giving it to him and then, like, going back. Okay, I'm getting out of here. That's, like, really messing up my camera. And then, like, give it back to him. And see if something happens. Like... Oh no, please remove that. There we go, get rid of that too. Yeah, I can't save and then give it to him. It's an absolute mess. Oh, Dorothy's in that area over there. Okay, let me go. Okay, it's weird. Yeah, the game really doesn't let you cheat. You gotta deal with your own consequences, like you said. So, I guess I'm giving this letter to Mortimer, because I don't want to betray Mortimer's trust. Maybe I can still talk to him or something, I don't know. Okay. Hey, Mortimer. Good evening, Mr. Goswick. How are you? I'm okay. I, I, uh, uh, here. I have retrieved your letter, Mr. Goswick. I can assure you that nobody read it but me. Thank you. 
This is for you, then. For your help. And for your silence. I think you should talk to your mother. It would be good for both of you. Yes. Thank you. Dr. Reed. I'll think about it. Now, please. Yeah. Let me be. And then he... Ooh, he gave me a hundred shillings. I mean, if he were my actual friend, I would try to talk him down from it. Uh, because that's, I'm a friend, that's what I would do. But I'm not his friend, I'm his doctor. And that's a totally different thing. Uh, any more? <laughs> I read your letter. I read your letter, Mortimer. You wrote about an unbearable feeling of despair while the world crumbles around you. Tell me more about it. There's nothing more to say, really. It's hurtful. It's unbearable. So, like, the condition of the world is what makes him so sad. He's in he's depressed and in despair. Pain is a precious tool, despair is a deadly poison. Despair is a deadly poison. Despair is a deadly poison. I've tasted myself, sir. We're only tempted to drink it because we're terrified by the uncertainty of the next minute. I know that perfectly, Doctor. For I waited for so long, hoping that the next minute would be less unbearable. So I screw up? There's not despair. I know that. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'll I drink your blood. Sir. I'll drink your blood later, and then your pain will go right away. Okay? <laughs> it's just imagine I drink his blood, and I accidentally turn to a vampire. He's like, "Why? <laughs> Why did you do this?" <laughs> Good evening, doctor. You're that lucky, man. Friend. You missed that one. Yeah, you'll be useful one way or another. Uh, can I tell her? <gasps> I could tell her! Oh, shoot. I don't know! Yeah, I should have said the lucky man thing, but I wasn't really thinking. I could totally tell her though. Let's do the why commit suicide thing. Let's see what she says. Mortimer is extremely vague as to his motivations for committing suicide. Tell me more about what you know. As you say, Mortimer had no reason to die. All he said to me was that he wanted to make the world a better place. He felt useless? Why did your son? I think it was more that he could only see the melancholy facets of life. So he was pessimistic. He couldn't help but dwell on such things. Okay. What do you think place? he meant by making the world a better place? Mortimer has always been a sensitive soul. He wouldn't talk to anyone for months after his father passed. It's like he carries everyone's sadness. Oh, okay. He, so he's sensitive and everything weighs down on him even if it doesn't directly affect him okay yeah all right your son could try to kill himself again do you realize your son could try to kill himself again he might succeed next time i think about it every minute but i won't stop fighting for my son's future that's how much i love him He is lucky to have you. You're right. Your son's death was not fatal. And unlike many on their own, he is lucky to have you by his side. I can't give up on him. I just can't. I have conceded many times in my life. But giving up on my son is something I am incapable of. Ah, oh, new hint available. There we go. So she, she loves him to death. I think she just loves him. She's, as far as we know, uh, he's her only son. I have read your son's suicide note. It was not an impulsive gesture, nor was it his first attempt. He threatened to kill himself a few times before. But I never thought he would dare to punish me this much. Punish you? Why? I've known for a long time he was not happy with his life. But I always hoped he cared enough to avoid making me suffer like this. Okay. 
Goodbye, Mrs. Guthrie. Alright. Oh no, my eyes are still creepy. <laughs> I think it's because I got 300 experience that can be used on something. Alright, well we know a little about the, more about them now. Alright, so let me run over here. Because Miss Crane is down by the docks. Hello. Zac Efron! <laughs> he looks like Zac Efron. Eavesdrop. Press V to activate your assistance. senses. If a citizen is behaving su suspiciously, their heart will emit a distinct glow. That's how I found the eavesdrop situation with Mortimer and his mom. No luck a special interaction. Well, I don't want to talk to him, but I'll talk to you. Who are you? Please, sir. I need help bad. What's going on? I'm Blight, sir. Yeah, I swear I'm not a vampire. Mutant Blight. I've lost my mate. Can't find him anywhere. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. From the uh oh. Hospital. Please calm down and give me more details. Oswald and myself were both infantry, sir. We were en route for the hospital. It's not the guy I killed, so we're good. But we had a disagreement. And Oswald ran off towards the canal. How long have you been searching for him? I, ca I can't go there. Too many rats by the water. Fucking rats. Can't stand them since the war, sir. Ah. Can't stand them at all. Don't be ashamed, Mr. Black. Nice to meet you, Newton Blight. Survive the trenches, suffer from musophobia. Fear of rats. Do for your Hello. What can you tell me about yourself? I'm Oswald's best friend. We served in the same regiment, sir. Taking care of each other since we came back from the front. Yes, I am not a vampire. He, the reason why they're not looking at me is because they're just looking off to the side like that. Like, uh, -uh. we're not looking at that. Not looking at that. <laughs> What are you doing here? This is a dangerous part of town. What are you doing here? We were looking for the Pembroke Hospital. He... We both need help. Oh, PTSD? Treatment on me. Get some sleep. PTSD. Better, not your friend. Can you tell me about your friend? His name is Oswald Thatcher. We survived the war together. Oswald is... Nervous and quite fragile. PTSD. This guy's got PTSD. Where was your friend the last time you saw him? He went down by the canal. He didn't want to go to the hospital. I think he went to the sewers on purpose. So I couldn't go after him. Alright, I'll look for him in a bit. I have all the information I need for now. If I find anything out about your friend, I'll let you know as soon as I can. Alright. you, Dr. Reed. But you're not who I'm looking for. You're sure you don't come back with me? Nah, I ought to see someone at the hospital. Be careful. You look so bad they may keep you as a patient. Fuck them. I don't like hospitals or doctors. Well then, when you go back to Whitechapel, you may find this useful. What is it? A pass for a free medical exam by the best nurse available. Just read it. Oh my god. I don't read well, but thank you, I guess. What is she doing? Well. I guess I'm going hunting. Good thing I leveled up. Okay, so it was in late 1918. Okay. I didn't I couldn't remember what time it took place. So 1918, just a little after the war. World War II, World War One. Oh my god. See now I'm going crazy. He's locked the door behind him. All right, I, I guess. need to find another way to follow him. All right, time to go around the long way then. Long way full of death and destruction. Hello. Well, that did sound good. Hello. I heard a 
scream. Is everybody okay? This man has been savagely attacked and dragged to the floor. A rogue skull. Great. Alright. Simple walk. Shit. There we go. Yeah, I'm sure he's fine. Totally. guy screaming, I can't breathe, I can't breathe, and I'm just like, I'm gonna calmly walk over to these guys, I'm gonna mess them up. <gasps> Come on! Oh, come on. I can't hit two. There we go. Ow! Get off of me, little jack. There we go. Goodness. Here, let me loot this first and then I will help you. Exactly. Priorities first. Money. Don't. Oh, I am supposed to go that way. Hang on. I don't want to go that way then. Ooh, common barbed cudgel. Hold on. Arr, that's not some bad damage. Ah, it's... Okay, let me see here. I'll give it a shot. Why not? It's two hands, but I think it'll be okay. Citizen is safe. Careful, the endangered citizen may not survive the next night. Go check on him. I hear... Where? Ah, I see. So they can die during this. Hello, friends. Okay. Whoop. Oh, I stabbed them both at the same time. That was beautiful. I love that blood spear move. Hi. Are you Oswald? Are you injured, sir? Help me get out of here. I need to get out. I'm Dr. Reed, and I'd be glad to help you, but you must calm down first. Please, take a deep breath and tell me your, your name. name. Okay. Okay, I I'm Oswald Thatcher. Please. Yeah, it's Oswald. Mr. Thatcher, your friend Newton sent me to help you. Do you remember him? Yes. Yes, I do. Good. Now leave this place and enjoy the cool night air. It's quite invigorating. Claustrophobia. Sure you'll feel better if you do. Goodbye. You rescue Sis and he will return to his district the following night. Excellent! Alright, so... Are you sure? Oh, uh, okay. I didn't mean to hit F again. Alright, I just wanted the chest behind you. Ah, good. More stuff. Alright, well we found Oswald. That was easy. He's in the same spot as the main quest. Wow, this place is like a maze. There's so many places to go. Well, I don't think I'm supposed to go that way yet, so I'm gonna leave it be. Money. Or, you know, I'll just... Oh, I left! Oops. Drink the blood just right in front of you. Yeah, you did. Well, he wasn't. He didn't actually see me um, kill them because he was like bent in a fetal position with his hands on the, on his head like that, like he was in a tornado shelter pose. 
I'm pretty sure everybody who witnesses me kill somebody like that is kind of like at the point where it's just like, okay, maybe I imagined it or I was like hallucinating so bad or I was panicking that that's what my brain was doing to make me feel better. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. It's totally fine. Alright, well that's another way out, so that's good to know. Ooh. I grab. Okay, and I was just here. This loops right back around. Fantastic. Can I actually go down through here? Oh. That looks bad. Okay, uh, let me go around the other way. Also, I got another stupid... Why are they showing up everywhere? I don't know. Okay. So go down through here. Kill, then loot. That was excellent. Oh, you want to see what I can do to rats? Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Delicious. Come here, rat. Come here. <laughs> Ban of the dragon. Concerning the Brotherhood St. Paul stole, I would advise our members to be very wary about these so-called scholars. Yes, indeed, most of them are always affable and respectable whenever they approach us, but it would be quite unwise for a discreet circle like the uh, Ascalon Club to foolishly speak about our goals, our members, or our traditions. I'd also like to remind our fellow members that the Brotherhood itself is ancient enough to have some mysterious traditions. One of them, according to some informants, could be the ritual of the so-called Ban of the Dragon. It seems that in certain conditions, when the Brothers of St. Paul find a, find a violent or a bloodthirsty immortal, they call upon him this ban. What is it exactly? I don't know. Does it really exist? I don't know for sure either. But what I've established as facts is that whenever a hostile or vindictive vampire has threatened London, it disappeared without a trace after the Brotherhood pronounced a ban upon him. The, local f the loyal Fergal Banshee himself has never been foolish enough to openly provoke the Brotherhood. This is a lesson we must all remember. Never be considered a dragon by the Brotherhood. From the Law of Ascalon by Lord Redgrave, Founder. Huh. Yeah, it's better than doing that to you. <laughs> Poor little fellows. Nom nom nom. Alright, so they... The Brotherhood that Dr. Swansea belongs to does something called the Band of the Dragon. I love finding lore like this. There's really... Don't Not Games is, makes some pretty good lore, and um, there's some good lore for this game. Am I full on blood? I think I am. Yes. Oh, no. Going back after that. Uh, let me open that. Alright. Time to jump into the place with all the skeletons in it. Bonk. Sewer beast. Oh my god! Hello. What sort of creature is this? It's a lycanthrope! Hiya! Oh. You did not care for that. This is gonna taste gross. Vampires and werewolves! An age-old rivalry! Ooh, he got missed moves too. Come on. Come on. Nice. A heal. It's a little resistant to that. All right, I can stun pretty good with this club.
I love using that barrier. Alright, let me heal up a bit. Oh, crap! Let go of me, let go of me, let go of me! Ow, ow, ow! Come on. Come on. I'm just gonna bite you to death. Oh, crap. Okay. Yeah, got him. Yeah, it looks like a, a werewolf. Here's what's left of him. So. Not a lot to check, but I should anyway. <laughs> Nurse Crane's got you. If you are sick, if you have no money, whoever you are, wherever you're from, come see Dorothy to get help. No tricks, no charges, no questions asked. Just find Darius Petres Pet Petrescu's house and present this coupon. Okay, and then it says the rest in uh, French, it looks like. It's either French or it's Spanish. Okay. Some voucher for a free checkup in Whitechapel. What is Nurse Crane up to? Oh, so she's I running really must find her. her own illegal hospital. Okay. That was all that was here, alright. Okay. Man, I am gonna get such such experience. Yeah, the wolf sound is pretty awesome. That was actually a really awesome fight. I enjoyed that. They did really good on the sound effects in this game. Just regaining some health in case I run. Oh, I'm not getting any health from that. Well, that's what this is for. <laughs> the sound effects in this game are really good. You know, what? I'm gonna go out the other way. If there is another, yeah, I just went the wrong way. I'm dumb. I'm just a little special sometimes. There we go. I love zooming back and forth like that uh, as a vampire. It's just so much fun. There we go. I unlock that door. And I'm out. Oh, you think it was Romanian? Okay, I did not know that. I thought it was Spanish or French, one of the romantic languages. Okay. Romanian. Neat. I wouldn't have expected that. But that's cool. I like that. I was like, oh, okay, did my grain break? <laughs> it's all black. Okay. Reach Whitechapel. Uh, do I want to go to Whitechapel right now? That's the problem. I guess I'm going to Whitechapel. I'll just need to find a hideout to go night night in and then. Ah! Ah! I'm sorry! <laughs> Oh, uh, hey, baby. Ha! Oh, that should have killed you. Okay. I know what to use. There's a skull right there. Holy cow. I don't think it would it is related to her because I tried asking her again before that and she was like yeah. She didn't really say she didn't have anything unlocked. So that's weird. I don't understand why I haven't unlocked her charging for beds yet. But seriously though, I need to find a place to go sleep. Finsbury Gate, West End. You know, I might... I'm gonna run back to the hospital. I'd feel a lot better if I did. Man, I think those guys were waiting for me <laughs> to get out of those sewers. For example.
there's a hideout over there. I'll kill these guys. There we go. Yeah, there was a bed there. I'm going there now. That's where I'm heading. Okay, stop. Forgot there's no auto lock on. There we go. My oh, stamina gets pretty good recovery after I bite, which is nice. This should kill him. Yep. Yeah, it's there. These places that say keep out, those are the ones you need to go into. It's the one with the funky light. Ugh. Okay. Let's take a look at the workbench first. Ah, okay, okay. Let's do one treatment for fatigue, one for anemia. Can't do sepsis. I can do one for cold. And that's about it. Can I upgrade you? No. I only have one. Okay, uh, can I upgrade you? No. <sighs> Darn. How about you? No. How about you? No. <sighs> can't upgrade anything. Do I even use my firearms? No. <sighs> Jeez. Ah, good. I can upgrade this. That'll work. Ah, increase stun. Decrease handling. Okay. I'll do this one. Nice. Alright, well I can work on that later. Alright, can't do much else. Alright, so there's that. And the bed was over here. That's the door. The bed was this way. You see the dust particles floating everywhere. Let's look at my eyes! Creepy eyes! Okay, uh... When do I unlock this? Level 10. Okay. Alright, let me look here. Coagulation. It will block your target's blood in their veins, making them defenseless. Alright, I guess I'll learn that. Um, it wants me to learn Shadow Veil Claws. How do I learn this? Ah, I need a thousand for that. Okay, well then I'll just upgrade myself. Uh, let's see. I'll just go in order. Nice. Go. And I'm now level 10, so I can do ultimate moves now. Don't have enough to unlock them, though, I believe. Rage. You lose control and let the beast take over for a short, short time. The beast teleports itself to all enemies around you and strikes them with furious blows. Cool. Abyss. You create a shadow vortex at your target's feet, coming to life. The shadows interrupt an enemy of the area and inflict tremendous damage. Okay. Blood Cauldron. You focus your power to boil your target's blood, causing it to violently explode, dealing damage to the target and anything nearby. <sighs> yeah, it's not covered in blood like the ones in the hospital. That might be covered with the flu. But that's okay. Um, I don't think I have enough for it, that's the thing. Yeah, I need a thousand. Rage sounds really cool. I might learn Rage. No. But now I'm level 10. That's good. Okay. Alright, so I'm out. I'm ready to go. Ambitious and beautiful. Let's do this. Ah! Oh, you guys are back. Well, I'll deal with you swiftly and quietly. Best I can, at least. This will work. Yeah, if you don't see it, it's not there. Correct. <laughs> don't see it's not there. Good enough. Alright, so I need to go... Cross the bridge. More victims. Hello. This is no place 
Okay. Mind his teeth as I bite into him. Just shot me. That was rude. Mm-hmm. You just keep talking. So rude. Oh no, these are not innocent people. These guys are vampire hunters. They actually attack me out of nowhere if they get if I'm too close to them. They're not nice. These are the guards of Prewin. They hunted me ever since I turned into a vampire, which was against my my will apparently. Okay, potassium. Okay, so over here, huh? Let me in, let me in, let me in! <laughs> Alright, let me look at my other ways in. Mm hmm. I did it again. Alright, let me go around the other way of the hos other side of the hospital. Might be better. Yeah, they are humans, but they are very mean. And you have to kill them. You have to because they're gonna they're gonna kick your butt if you don't. Oops. <laughs> and I'm accidentally destroying pro making property damage. I don't mean to. It's involuntary. I just run and it instantly breaks things, and I don't know why. Alright, uh... Alright, this other bridge, and I'll head across. I know, but it's self-defense. It's self-defense. Whatever, I'm doing- I want to do a, an anti-hero run anyway, so you know what? Some sacrifices have to be made. Oh, this is the place where I died! We're gonna ignore that guy. Crap. This is a bad idea. I'll figure it out. Don't... Don't do that. Seriously? Okay. Okay, whoops. Oh, you kind of screwed up yourself there. <laughs> he threw the bomb and it just gave me more cover. <laughs> what was that, garlic powder? <laughs> yeah, I know you are joking. I was just, I'm messing with you too. I like the banter. Okay, okay stop it. Okay, stop. God. thing is, when I turn my camera, it, it's a stupid mechanic. Here we go. <laughs> there we go. Not bad. I go over here. <gasps> Food! And I just broke a crate. <laughs> I destroy everything I touch. <laughs> Yeah, th please throw more bombs. It's really useful. It really was, though. Just gave me more cover. What we got here? Ah, yes. Money from the dead. Earned honestly. Okay, I think that's another place to go rest. What we got here? 
Would you like to know more? Guard the freedom of us all. Join the Royal Fleet today. Would you like to know more? Ask at your nearest recruiting office. I have way too much fun with that. Join the ranks! Your king and country need you! Join the British ranks and help the brave lads at the front! I didn't want to read that again. I didn't want to open the trash can. Thank you. Let me be a trash panda. I may be a vampire, but my dream was always to be a trash panda. Aw, oh, man, I can't go inside. Dead inside. I would love a Plague Doctor skin for him. That would be so much fun. <laughs> oh, hey. Alright. I need more blood anyway, so you'll do. Beautiful. <laughs> Doctor Vampire Soldier Detective. Yes. Jack of all trades in the medical and science factory. Hello? Oh, well, yeah, about that. Yeah, about that. I better kill them, because they're probably the backup. Yeah, bad luck on your first patrol, mate! <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be bad. I think I just attacked the new guy, too! <laughs> Poor new guy. <laughs> You're next. Oh, no, you'll work. I'm getting so used to these controls and using these abilities. Ah, uh, yes. Murder. <laughs> A murder most foul! That's some money. Oh, good. Tiny common handle part. I need those. Yes. Well, okay, so if they didn't come up come across me, they would have died to that. So which would you prefer, dying to a rather, in a rather intelligent vampire or to that nasty look ow. Nasty beast. Here we go. Yeah. I think I did do them a favor, too. <laughs> Come on. There. Oh, he already- <laughs> he already killed one of them. <laughs> nice. Okay. Now let's go back to what I was supposed to do. <laughs> I think they're on this other side. Yeah, they are. Hello. Alright. Roger the wall, so he's like a boss, I'm guessing. Well, not anymore. Did he re he heal himself? Ow. Ooh, yes. Give me. Oh, you're all lined up. Perfect. 
I love it when they're lined up like that. All right, got him. I'm actually getting, I, I feel like I'm getting some really good experience from some of this. I like to, I think. But my thing's been stuck at 350 and it's making me a little bit nervous. Ah, yes. That guy dropped some really good stuff for me, though. Ah, oh, 415 now. Not bad. Yeah, he was a wall. Until I broke him down. Ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! I'm sorry. Okay. Looks like I'm getting closer to this spot. One chapel. This neighborhood is linked somehow to the kind Lady Ashbury's blackmail. First, let's find this Petrescu fellow. Petrescu, huh? Ah. Oh, hello. Luxury box of pills. My knees! Alright, so this is Whitechapel. Hello? His heartbeat's gone. Oh my god! Run, dude, run! Okay, he's all right. He can help you. He missed. Name's Albert. Remember it. Now bugger off. Hello, Albert Palmer. Did you steal that man's medication? What happened? Did you really steal that man's medication? Hey, I didn't do anything. It ain't me. Maybe he confused you. He picked an easy target. What you did. What you did was inexcusable. Yes, you did. And it was cowardly and inexcusable. Shut off, mister. You ain't got no clue what's going on here. Bastard was a soldier in the war, so now he's got the right to shoot me. It's true. I'm not familiar ah. with this part of town. Perhaps you could help. I said sod off. <laughs> yeah. I, find yourself another I literally part. saw I literally saw him do it. Okay. Personal questions. Hit required. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? If you know anything about her, I'd appreciate it. Never heard of her. She's pretty, I'll keep an eye out. Nice dude. Okay. Goodbye, young man. I'll not die in some his stinking alley reeking worse than a weak old lavy. Oh my god, I don't want to talk to you. You need to just chill in the rain. Just sit in the rain and chill. No, oh, he's doing what I'm doing. Shooting a boy in the middle of the street. Not the best thing to do, wouldn't you say? What? You saw what happened? Yeah. H who are you? I'm Dr. Reeve. And I'd like to ask you a few questions, if you promise me to set your gun aside. No. Look, I I'm not a violent man. I'm Benjamin Palmer, doctor. And no one can help me. Not even you. Uh, your life. Sorry, Benjamin Palmer. Tell me about this place. What can you tell me about this place? Nothing to say, really. This is where I used to live, and this is where I live now. Have you no family? You don't have anywhere to go. No family that would welcome you. Not since the death of my wife, Albert Smala. She was sick, you see. Oh, oh so you're his well, dad. Well, and you used to have you a better life. You used to have a better life. Yeah, I had a wife, a home, and a job. I used to have a name. Now I'm just being fed the trap. Oh my. Perhaps you could focus for a moment and tell me your troubles. Stop I'm stumbling. Sick, broke on my son just stole my pills. <laughs> Everything's coming up roses. Okay. Personal questions. 
Why did you shoot this boy? Whatever the boy did, I'm sure he didn't deserve a public execution. <laughs> I just shoot at people. I'm not violent. <laughs> I'm sick in the head. Yeah. Boy, just, just fight me last nerve. Yeah, I know. He, he did kind of deserve it. <laughs> what is it, Benjamin? It was the war, wasn't it? Your nerves are shot. Oh, his nerves are shot. I need some answers, Private. From one soldier to another. The doctors called me a liar. A coward. Put me in a strike jacket. Uh oh. Me up. Finally, they sent me back to the front lines with a handful of tablets. So he's. mentally disturbed? You should not. Those are, these are barbaric methods. Get a grip. You should not feel ashamed. Uh, that you should not feel ashamed? Yes. Sounds like shell shock. Yep. I've seen a few cases like yours. This is nothing you should be ashamed of, Benjamin. And it's perfectly natural in your situation. I'm not ashamed. I just need my pills. Oh, I'm so did the pills make him addicted? Okay. Looking okay for Nurse Dorothy Crane. Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital. I yeah, think, uh, basically they're all suffering from PTSD. I need some pills. Really? And why is that? The word is she ain't real. She's a cover for some doctor who runs an illegal dispensary for migrants. Well, she's very real because I work with her, but I'm not going to tell you a that. Bye bye. Alcohol and a bad temper make a terrible cocktail, sir. Goodbye for now. Mm hmm. Alright, let's see here. He's got a migraine, but. And fatigue. I'll treat him for fatigue. How are you, boy? I'm not your boy, all right? Now piss off. Yeah, I don't know why they changed it either. Uh, medical Do you need checkup? assistance, please? Feeling tired these days. Here. There you go. Let's hope nobody steals it from you. Very funny. Very funny. Yeah. Goodbye, young man. All right, there. The wet boots? You're part of the wet boot gang? That explains a lot. Yeah, I don't know why they changed it. Maybe because it... Oh no, that wouldn't make sense. I don't know. Maybe because PTSD not only affects war. Because there's all kinds of trauma. Hello. Good evening, Oh, I just... I'll just talk to you, okay. You. When science... Good evening, miss. Good evening, sir. Are you interested in a miraculous cure for this unknown and deadly epidemic? Actually, I am. Then you have come to the <laughs> right place. Actually. The famous Swanborough Cordial is all yeah. you need to help keep you in perfect health. Oh, you can treat him with a little really? bite or tea. Yes, no, 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 no. I hear about it during my studies. I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Doctor Jonathan. Ah, oh, my brother has spoken of your research, sir. I'm Loretta Swanbra, and it's always a pleasure to meet a fellow healer. Wow, she actually took that very nicely. Your life in London? Any intriguing local figures? Tell me, who intrigues you most in Whitechapel? Jack the Ripper! <laughs> something to see, but I would say Camellia the Mute Florist who gives away her flowers. Mute. What do you think of the locals? What do you think of the locals? Most of them are afraid or desperate. They all come to me eventually. For like her remedy. fox coat she's wearing. Is there anyone I should avoid? Is there anyone I should avoid? Capitalism she is so well dressed. I love her outfit. She looks so cool. Mercilessly exploits poor migrants as soon as they get here. Okay. She's actually kind of helpful. Personal questions? None of those. I'm looking for Dorothy Crane. Do you know nurse Dorothy Crane. I'd like to know more about her. I, I like her character design. Competition. competition, you say? Never met her, but it seems she provides some sort of medical care to the poor. The whole thing has to be some sort of scam, if you ask me. Says the lady selling a miracle elixir. Bye. Goodbye, Miss Swanbra. Perhaps we'll talk again. At least she's nice. She's very nice. I like her. Where else are we going here? Anyone down here?
Okay, I kind of contrast to the situation, definitely. <gasps> Rats! I must feed. <laughs> Delicious. Don't really think there's... Uh-oh, what we got here? A dead body. The door is oddly colored and it's suspicious. Don't think I need to go this way. Oh no, that goes to the west end. Alright. I won't bother with that then. Not currently, at least. Hmm. My video game senses are tingling. Okay. Uh. Well, when in doubt, dig through the garbage. Oh, spring. Hello. Looks like we got some people. What? What do you want? Leave me alone. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I'm looking for Nurse Dorothy Crane. There is no Dorothy Crane here. Now, goodbye. I'm afraid this medical leaflet says the opposite. Oh, really? Well, I'm afraid I'm going to close this door right now. Go bother someone else, Mr. Doctor. To enter that house, I must discover who this man really is. Maybe I could start by observing... Mr. Doctor. Okay, so observe. He's got bronchitis. Ah, here we go. Where's he going? Yes, munch some rats. Snack on rats while digging through garbage. Look, it's your favorite character, covered in blood. I refused him entry. Darius, how could you know he didn't need our help? His clothes were too finely tailored to be for Whitechapel. Perhaps just the friend of that stray poet who is always about. Richard Nidacott. No, not of the same cloth, this man. I suspect some machination from that journalist. Journalist? Clayton Darby. Is he still asking questions? Is that the guy I killed? Yes. I saw him drifting around St. Mary's Church. I swear he is tracking me just downwind. Hmm. I must talk to that journalist or the poet. They must know about Darius. Near okay. The church they just mentioned. Not the same Clayton. All right. Somewhere down here. What's going on? Please take a browse of my wares. I am Doctor Reed. I would like to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind. Doctor? Interesting. I'm Barrett Lewis. Usually I don't have time to waste with talk, but at this hour of the night I can hardly refuse. Uh, your life in London. How is business? How is business around here? Business? I had no business. Between this racket, theft, and customers getting scared, I'm losing money every day. I see. Sounds like you blame someone in particular. It's no secret, Joe Peterson's is your imagination. I'm not watching you right now. Yeah, I'm not watching you through this gate. Put me out of business once and for all. Joe Peterson, okay? No, say anything out of the ordinary. You see Whitechapel every day. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary recently? Well, you mean besides the epidemic, the war, and all the usual crap? Uh huh. As long as I can remember, this part of town has been a bottomless pit, and no sign of the bottom yet. Uh, is violence increasing? Violence is increasing in the borough. Yeah. A few nights ago, some blokes jumped me. Came out of one of the condemned workshops. Fever. Madness. Something A skull. Like Where did this happen? Why did you go there? In the closed workshops nearby. I worked there as an apprentice in better days. Now I only go to find trinkets or tools. 
too bad I was mugged though. There was good money in that little box of loot I lost. Loot. So you loot things, okay. Have you been hurt? No, but that's only because I ran like hell. Those men were raving lunatics, I tell you. Not even able to speak anymore. Just screaming. skull. Uh personal questions. Hit required, hit required, okay. Have you heard of a nurse? Hi, Lyric! Welcome to the stream! This is Vampire, one of my favorite games to play. Which recently became a... Uh, she's just trying to help. So she's trying to help her fellow immigrants. Why would that make her a villain? Dorothy Crane ain't even a real name. Something like Dorothea Craniu. Craniu. Came to England fleeing the war, I was told. That doesn't explain why she irritates Ooh, that so growl that comes out when he says that. Gives away medical supplies and prescriptions. I love you too! You're amazing, Lyric. I love you. No, Miss Crane wanted to play the quiet saint. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye for now, Mr. Lewis. That growl just comes out whenever he gets upset, and I love it. Hey there. Excuse me, sir. I have a few questions for you. Another journalist? I didn't answer the first one, so piss off. I'm not a journalist, I'm a doctor. A doctor, you say? It's quite a rare breed <laughs> in this part of town. Really? But still, here I am. Oh, it's okay. Doctor it's okay, Doctor. Lyric. I hope you enjoy. This game's I'm so much fun. Some, a colossus joke at most. And I don't remember asking for your service, sir. Oof. Calm down. What do you do around here? May I ask? I do whatever I want, and sometimes even more. Now sod off. Okay. According to you, physicians are scarce in this part of town. Why is that? Not familiar with this neighborhood, are you? Jack the Ripper, Jack the Ripper. <laughs> I guess your fancy colleagues are too afraid of being scared. Yeah, the voice acting is really, really good. I love it. Reputation. Would you say it's justified? Totally. It's a pretty good cast. Really, instance, or a large cast. Do you enjoy bullying How people? How did you become the local bully everyone is afraid of, Joe? There's no pride in roughing up poor bastards. But this is the only job I've found. And it pays well, too. A job? So you're oh. racketeering for someone else? I got enlisted by the Wet Boot Boys, a gang from the docks. I'm their muscle for their dirty work. Ah. Uh, survival is a natural law. You survive at any cost. Of others. Perhaps that's yes, I love it too. I don't care what you think, sir. I do what I have to do for my own reasons, and that's that. I'm not sure Mr. Lewis would agree with your by all means necessary philosophy, sir. Oh, do you really think he's the poor victim here? Barrett can be as sneaky as anyone. Long ago, I even called the bastard my best friend. Okay, so he was friends with the merchant back there. Have you heard of a nurse named Dorothy Crane? Yeah. She's a colleague of mine and is supposed to live around here. Dorothy Crane? Yeah, I know her. One of the few good souls who dare to help the sick around here. Could you please tell me more about her? She's a nice girl. Tries to help the migrants. I offered to give her a hand, but she said my reputation would attract too much attention. No, oh, that's true. All right, can't do any more with that because any hints. All right, well. Can I help you with anything? Oh, you're healthy as a horse. Okay. Oh, dear. Are you okay? Forgive my interruption. Do not apologize, my son. Father Tobias Whitaker is always happy to teach mortals about the incoming Armageddon. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed, and I just have a few questions. Pervert! 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 <laughs> Yeah. Oh no, it wasn't it wasn't Crane who was it was not Crane who was charging people for beds. It was um it was Pippa. Pippa who is dating the uh EMT. No, it's uh it was Pippa who was doing that, not Crane. Crane's not doing that. I am more lost than you thought. What do you mean when you say that I am more lost than you thought? All scientists are entangled in a world of causes and Consequences. Yeah, no, no, it's fine. It's it's fine. 
quite a judgmental opinion if you I still haven't been able to confront her about that and I don't know why blinded by science I'll well. talk to her uh, boyfriend when I get back there answers about the Armageddon about to strike the city answers about the hidden truth Ooh. I only believe in facts but the answers I seek are based on facts not superstition okay personal questions have you any family have left you any friends any family left in these terrible times no but I have a disciple I see as my son he reminds me of the crazy mom from Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. Yeah, where did you send him? Where did you send him? I sent Samuel to the Stonebridge Cemetery, where the pestilence and evil grows night after night. So you sent him on a holy crusade to a cemetery in the dead of night with werewolves and vampires. Okay, I'll go save him. You sent him on some <sighs> preaching crusade during the epidemic. Exactly. Tell him. Tell him. Samuel will fear <sighs> while he walks through the valley of the shadow of death. <sighs> I will say this right now. I am a I'm slight I'm Christian. I know my Bible. I know what's going on. Dude you need to go sit down. Just go sit down. Let me go get your boy. I'll be right back. Ugh. Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital. Yeah, I'll like take a little bite of your neck. Going, <laughs> 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 that should make a little drawing of uh, Dr. Reed going, I'm nom nom. <laughs> Some other people. Oh, you hate Nurse Crane? Why do you hate Nurse Crane more than other nurses? Before coming to Give life, me the tea. <laughs> the communist resistance in that country. What oh, she's a communist. Oh, wow, and you're sexist. Okay. <laughs> so you're not exactly a fan of Florence Nightingale's work. Oh, I know Florence Nightingale. I actually did a study on her for a uh, school once. The only women allowed to take care of male patients. It's obvious only they have the necessary moral fiber. Okay. Very old-fashioned way of thinking. But yeah, Florence Nightingale was... I've heard enough for the one who really um, pushed sanitation and well-being in the hospitals. Yeah, he doesn't deserve to get bit at all. I will wait. Hang on. Ooh. That's a lot of good stuff. Alright, I'm going to go save his boy, and I'm going to kill him. So let me see here. Ha. All right. Let's see if I can go find him. Can I, uh, whoops. I was going to see if I could rest up there, but I can't. Yeah, it's some good blood and good, great experience. Flowers? Flower bouquet. A small flower bouquet with a voucher for a free medical checkup in between the flowers. Camellia! Ah! Hi. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Reed. I'd like to ask you a few questions. She's I mute. Stranger who meets a girl in the street at night. It reeks of the penny dreadfuls. But I mean yeah. no harm. Truth. Penny dreadfuls. Uh I know you understand I me. I know you understand what I'm saying. Your silence has nothing to do with me being mute, does it? Ah. Uh, okay. I know you work for Nurse Crane. Camellia, I know you work for Dorothy Crane. Please. Tell me about her secret dispensary. Yes. A stubborn and mute comrade. Nurse Crane and Darius Petrescu have been good for that. 
It's just dot dot dot. Okay, bye. Very well. Goodbye. Yeah, would you stop moving around while we talk? She looks like she's like gotta use the bathroom. Hurry up, I gotta go bathroom. <laughs> All right. All right then, let's do this. Oh, what? Oh, what? Ow! Owie! Can I, can I please fight him? Got some guy with a cross here. Reverend Kane is his name? God. Yeah. She's just hearing all this, and... Alright, and... Ow. Get some more blood here. Oh, okay. Hey, I killed him! This man stunned me with his face. His crucifix. This is not good news. I hope I can find a uh, hideout soon. No, real soon. Hello, I need a hideout. I need to go level up. Well, leveling up wouldn't really help me right now, I don't think. Yeah, 20 feet away from the uh, woman I was just speaking to, but she won't talk about it, right? <laughs> Make me. Yeah. Holy! I gotta heal after that. Okay. Come on! One more hit! Jeez, better get some, be getting some good, healthy experience from all this. Going for all this crap for this kid. That looks like it. Wee. Rats. Just hoping that means there would be a. Ah, here we go. Oh, lucky, lovely, lovely, lovely. I think this is a place where I can hide. It's not. Okay. Yeah, he was the real wall. Oh, no, it is a hideout. Great. New hideout unlocked. Ugh, great. Excellent. Fatigue. I need a sepsis. Let's do this. Uh, cold. Bronchitis and pneumonia. Alright, I'll have to work on that. Alright, anything else I can grab in here? Ah, that leads back out. Okay, neat. And that way's blocked. Alright. Let me sleep. Okay, yeah. No problem. It's not like this won't be back on uh, YouTube. Yeah, thank you so much, and have a great night, Deep Blue. Have a wonderful night, and I will see you next time. Okay, let's see.
some more biting down here. And level 11. Excellent. Okay. Nice. I need to go heal these guys up. Desperately. Alright. Mesmerize level 1. Okay. Let's go see if I can deal with this guy. Alright, so he's in here somewhere. Yeah, seriously, why would you send this guy to a cemetery at night? Alone. Ah, okay, I need to go down. Wasn't there way down over here? Ah, okay, see, he's calling for help. Alright, let me go over this way. There might be a way down over here. Yep. Looks like this is the way. Well, borf, borf yourself. Oh, its eyes are glowing. Here we go. I love that barrier. Really keeps him off of me. We go. Perfect. Well, that's a lot. All right. Really getting a good boost here. Whoops. Okay. Ah, shoot. I hit the wrong button. Okay, another one, huh? I didn't mean to do that, but I guess... Oh, hi! Alright, let's try this again. I love that barrier! Gosh, I love doing that. Okay. 
Perfect. What we have here? Another guard. I know, I'm trying to figure out which way to go, okay? Okay. There we go. Save the isolated woman of Yep, so this isn't the guy. I'm working on it. Hate it when they do that. Off, off. Come on. Here we go. Oh, I meant to grab the other thing. Hello. Are you all right, Miss? I, I don't know. Who were those people? They, they, they wanted to kill me. Why? They've lost their minds in the epidemic. They won't come back for now. You seem to know a lot about them, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm investigating this disease. Mm -hmm. I am Chao Shun. Thank you so much for helping me, Mr. Reed. I must go to the cemetery now. Goodbye. Oh, okay. Goodbye. Carnage. Is Father Whitaker's disciple among the bodies, I wonder? Oh boy. This man's far too old to be Samuel. No. By the look of his clothes, this man's a docker. Holy cow. Samuel isn't here. I had better follow the blood trail. What do we have here? Stuff. It's locked. Follow the blood trail, huh? Okay, went out the window. Ah, more. We'll go this way. As I feared, Samuel no longer preaches the good word. I can't believe I'm doing this. Oh, Samuel became one. Okay. Samuel, you're not going to make it. You're alive if I keep this up. Come on. Glad I dodged that. Oh, perfect. Alright, Samuel's down. Care this other guy. All right. This is despicable. It sounds like there might be a big guy up there. Glad I got the extra blood. Thing. And one more. All right. There he is. All right. Ah. 
Ah, so he's a blinker, so they phase in and out. Ah. Jeez. Okay. Where am I going? Where am I going here? Ah. Blackwall Fauberg. Ah, a hideout! Excellent. Let's see if I can craft anything real quick. Strange formula. Ah, good. Treatment for headache, migraine, and neuralgia. Okay. Let's do a treatment for bronchitis. Doesn't look like I can do anything else. I can do fatigue real quick. Won't oh, hurt. Oh wait, 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 wait! I forgot. All right, still can't do anything with that. Any more common handle parts? I, I can do this. Increased blood absorption. Ooh. I'll take that for now. I don't even use the guns, but I'll upgrade them anyway. Increased damage. I'll do damage. Recyclable. Here we go. Gosh, I think I could have done this earlier. Let's look at this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Perfect. Increased damage. Can't do much there. Cool. I got a good bit of stuff there. Alright. Get some rest. Oh, Deep Blue won't like that. It's covered in blood. <laughs> but rest is rest. Alright, let's see here. I have no experience. Alright, let me just sleep. Alright, well, after I do the sleep here, I'm going to go ahead and get off for the night. So please be sure to like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you guys in the next episode. And with that, guys, bye-bye.